fall fishing. This is uh, late fall fishing. We're talking, I've, I'm actually in November right now. What I am looking for is the color of money. That deep green cabbage. I'm not looking for this. Well, I am most of the time. But when I'm on the water, I'm looking for the other green, and that's the deep green weeds. Oh, I'm money, baby. <laughs> in the summer, they're, they're in the shallows, they're on the flats, they're on the deep weed edge. But now that the shallow weeds are dead and the flat weeds are dead, and the only thing green and, uh, and given oxygen to the water is the deep green weeds, these fish move out, they migrate out to these deep areas and sit there and they school up. And when you get on them, you can get good numbers too. It's a great time to catch schools of bass. There we go. Got him. And all I'm doing is throwing it to the deep edge of the weeds and kind of slow. I don't, not actually even popping it off the edge anymore. Right now, all I'm doing is kind of hitting the weed and just kind of pulling it through. The fall is trophy time. And as you'll see, one week ago today, I caught my largest Wisconsin bass ever. It was six pound, five ounce, 21 and three quarter inches. I was freaked out and here you go. That is the biggest bass I've seen in this state. And it makes me feel good to do this with her. Thank you, baby. Wow. If you want to get your trophy bass, I mean trophy, you got to go now. I'll tell you, the lakes to myself, the deer hunters, the duck hunters, they got their own deal. I'm the crazy one out on the water. It's perfect and I will get my trophy bass every year in the fall.